The Orissa government has submitted a report on the POSCO project to the Environment Ministry. It says that no tribals or traditional forest dwellers live at the proposed site, something that hasn't gone down to well with locals and activists. Moita Moja Sina reports. POSCO's troubles are far from over. Even though the Orissa government has said that 1,253 hectares of forest land can be used for its steel plant. The state government has found that there are no traditional forest dwellers living in that area. But stiff opposition from villagers living at the proposed plant site continues. We have gone by the report which we have received from the collector and uh, we have come to the conclusion that uh, I mean, whatever categorical assurance the government of India had asked for, we have been able to comply with it. Under the Forest Rights Act of 2006, villagers have to fulfill three conditions. Dwellers have primarily resided in and around the forest for 75 years prior to December 13, 2005. They should be dependent on the forest or forest land for their livelihood and they should have been in occupation of forest land prior to December 13, 2005. The Orissa government has stated in its assurance report that none of the villagers satisfy any of the conditions. This finding has been refuted by the POSCO Pratirodh Sangram Samiti time and again. The 1922 map, see Environment Minister Jairam Ramesh said that his ministry will take time to arrive at any decision. With the biggest FDI project pitched against the locals, his job is anything but easy. With Sampad Mahapatra in Bhuvaneshwar, Onita Moja in Delhi for NDTV. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.